look at vellum and uh, more specifically how to do a bit of uh, um, balloon inflation and uh, well let's see where we get on with it uh, i'm gonna keep things simple uh this is just a quick tip anyway so let's start by dropping in a geo node and i'm gonna drop in a sphere the reason why i'm doing this is uh even though vellum has been around for almost a year now five but it's only recently for some reason i've started uh, seeing other artists uh, using it in their work anyway um i uh, selected a sphere made it a polygon set the frequency to 12 and dropped in the transform and nudged it upwards uh, 1.1 units now uh what i can do here is i can drop in a vellum configure plot like so and yeah this looks pretty much straight uh, forward now what i can also do is uh, i can drop in this vellum constraint node and i'm gonna set it to pressure because pressure is what's gonna give us this inflation effect um now uh, what i'm trying to do over here with this quick tip is uh, actually achieve this effect using the vanilla vellum solver and because it's pretty simple and even this solver is quite uh, full-fledged for vellum related work so i want to avoid uh, dropping in like a top network and you know going over here and dropping a vellum solver blah 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 i don't want to do this let's see what uh, if we can achieve the effect that we want uh, in through this vellum solver so i have this and let's come over here this remains uh, pretty straightforward what i do need however is uh, i need to output uh, this group and stretch group and i'm gonna call it my stretch and jumping in uh what i can do over here is i can drop in a vellum constraint property so by the way if i were to just come over here disable it to uh, go over here enable ground plane let me just cut the network between this one let's see what it's uh, giving us with uh, our default values so they start over here the sphere collapses and falls to the ground that i've enabled over here yeah so far so good um what i should do however is i'm gonna increase my sub steps to four because when dealing with constraints uh especially in vellum you'd want to amp up your sub steps slightly <clears throat> coming over here excuse me um uh, i'm gonna reconnect my vellum constraint property come over here go into the groups and okay for some reason it's not uh, giving me this group oh yeah that's because i haven't re-enabled it so cloth pressure vellum solver and in the constraints uh, where we specified our pressure constraint i need to output this group and once it's over here i can come over here and i should see my stretch over here now uh coming over here i'm just going to disable the simulation and i'm gonna say come over here somewhere around say frame 40 and from this point onwards all the way to let's say 80 i'm gonna crank it up to is that what it was no actually yeah oh, oh awesome corrected at 1e plus 9 and i'm gonna say make a keyframe and I'm gonna set this to one. Why are you doing this to me? There we go. Come over here, 80. I'm just gonna type in this zero. So make it like a high value. 
1000 million there you go actually let's just check that uh, we have our values animating yeah we do and come over here go back up one level well actually quite a few levels because this is traveling through quite a lot and let's play server drops and it collapses and right past frame number 40 it should uh, pop up because the stiffness bounces back to a high value boom there you go so if i were to stop the simulation see this is the behavior that we were expecting balloon popping up like it got inflated you can make this uh, increase a bit more gradual like right now it's billion let's make it uh, 10 million and let's uh, space it out a little bit further okay so it jumps but uh, doesn't jump that high and when it lands back uh, it's going to maintain its uh, shape so it doesn't just uh, collapse back into what it was it's going to retain its shape because we have now set the stiffness to a higher value so it will become a bit squishy that's not just gonna yeah there you go all your inflation needs satisfied bingo what else can we do actually well i mean there's a lot you can do i mean you can drop in colliders and things like that i mean if i were to drop in a box and let's set my dis template to over here actually i'm gonna make it a transform and let's come over here how high does it go starts over here and yeah i mean if i want i can have this box collide to, to this one let's scale it up slightly in this and this direction and there you go and let's set it to i don't know 4.5 and if i were to i mean i can just pipe it over here and make it a collision object and if i were to submit again um let's set the sub step back to one oops did not even go up let's set it back to four so it's going to take more time but uh, the calculation will be a bit more accurate you can have this collision happen as well And you can even animate your box uh, if you want your collision object so right now it's at 4.5 uh, this comes up this collides with it and let's start from this point and when it's over here around 70 let's make this 2.5 actually 
goes down, collides, and then it gets compressed. Well, that takes care of the inflation. What else can we do now? Um, I mean, if you want, you can also do like a balloon exploding after it uh, inflates. Uh, you can do this, uh, that as well, and even that is quite simple. So if I were to make a bit of space over here, come over here, I'm going to drop in an edge fracture. For some reason, I'm selecting every SOP except for the edge fracture. Go figure. And let's set this, uh, visualize this. So let's give it like 15 points. Coming over here. Well, what I need to do now is I'm going to have to drop in like a new constraint uh, that's going to stitch all these uh, points uh, where the where our sphere is fracturing. So uh, another vellum constraints and it has just the stuff that we need. And let's call it stitch points. Um, this is giving us these new points, uh, new points group called new PTS. And if I were to come over here and uh, in the geometry, I'm going to set it to points and then I'm going to select new points. So if I were to come over here, you can see that it's uh, giving me these stitches. Um, and obviously, uh, what I can do is I have to enable breaking, uh, set it to do one first to see how we are doing. And then we have our pressure constraint, uh, as well. This stays as it is, um, coming over here. This remains as it is. Let's see what we have. We're supposed to, and what I'm expecting it to do is right when the balloon pops up around where, what was it? I think frame 40. Uh, I wanted to break into pieces. So all these uh, fractures that we made over here with edge fracture, they should, uh, it should rip apart. And it didn't probably because we have our break threshold to be a bit high. So you gotta lower it. Stop simulating. Thank you. So coming over here, breaking threshold. No, actually it should be back to point one. Still nothing. Okay. What am I doing wrong? Um, I'm gonna set this to 0 0.05 because I really want these to break. And another thing I can do over here is um, um, go into my rest length scale. That's another important uh, value. So I have this at point, I uh, have this at one. Uh, I'm gonna add a keyframe over here and just go over here and set it to around let's say 72 set it to three so it jumps up a little bit let's see what we have there you go So you have this balloon popping up as it jumps up. You can see the tears. Uh, I mean, the wrestling scale that we increased uh, caused uh, the stitch points to finally break apart. You can experiment with the threshold and uh, the values over here uh, in wrestling scale.
But uh, essentially, that's the crux of it. There you go. Um, nothing too difficult. Um, but essentially, you don't, uh, as explained before, you don't number one you don't have to always go into the top net to do your vellum work uh, you can if you want to especially if you're uh, emitting vellum uh, geometry uh, then you can then obviously you're gonna have to go into the top net uh, and then you know initialize uh, your geometry per frame as it emits but otherwise uh, for quite a lot this vellum solver if you double click uh, it is after all in the dynamics uh, node and the best part of it all is that that you get all your dynamic uh, solves like I mean you get pop force and things like that as well so you can like integrate them <clears throat> anyway um, hope uh, you guys found this useful um, any questions or comments do feel free to post them in the comment section below uh, till then see ya thanks